how to find the area of a regular hexagon. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the length of each of the sides. Now in this problem, remember, it's regular, so that means once you find the length of one of the sides, that means you know the length of all the sides, because regular means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. Okay, so in this problem, we're given that the length of each side is 4 meters. Okay. And now we simply have to substitute that into this equation. Now this is just one way of finding the area of a regular hexagon. There's many other ways. We're actually going to go over at least one other way uh, pretty soon. So stay tuned if you don't like this way. Just uh, uh, keep eyeing our channel. But here's one of the common ways. All right, so here's this equation here. All right, so remember, n in this equation means the number of sides, and then this is, of course, the length of each side. So I went ahead and substituted. So the 4, because I have 4 for the length, and the number of sides is 6 here. Okay, then what I did was I went ahead and I converted this pi to 3.14, and then n again down here is 6. Okay, one thing you have to do, know though is that since we're using pi at 3.14 and this 6 here, and we're using um, a trigonometric function, you have to make sure that your calculator is in radians, not degrees, when calculating it using this way. Okay, so make sure you know how to do that or ask your teacher how to do that um, if you're going to use this method. Okay, so when I had it substituted here, okay, so this becomes 16 times 6 in the numerator and 4 times the tangent of this long decimal number. Okay, and then we keep going. We have 96 over 2.31, which then gives me 41 and 56 hundredths. And the last thing to do is, of course, write the units. Okay, so now I have 41.6 meters squared because you, over here, the question explicitly says surround to the nearest tenth. Okay, so that is why I have this and not the 56 hundredths. Remember also that this is area, so the units have to be squared. That's why I have meters squared and not meters cubed. Alright, and that completes our problem.